Chinese President Xi Jinping laid out his next generation development plan for southern China with what he called his socialist modernization drive. And at the center of that will be the city of Shenzhen, just across the border from here in Hong Kong. He says the world is undergoing profound changes not seen in a hundred years and that the coronavirus pandemic has accelerated that. He says the world is entering a transformational stage with great turbulence and that China must be more self-reliant. Well, the United States, in particular the Trump administration, is trying to cut China off from its supply of next generation semiconductors and the equipment uh, that goes into making next generation chips. So China must innovate. Now, in this development plan, there was less of a blueprint and more of a grand plan. There was short on specifics, uh, but he did say that China needs to be more self-reliant. He says development is the number one priority, talent is the number one resource, and innovation is the guiding course. Uh, R&D will be emphasized in new technologies, but he didn't specifically talk about any particular plan or priority, uh, including digital currencies or biotech or artificial intelligence. But we already know that the regions of southern China in Shenzhen is home to some of China's biggest and most innovative companies, including Tencent and Huawei. Now, of course, in the last year and a half, two years, there's been a lot of friction between the mainland and what's happened here on the social front in Hong Kong uh, with the protests. And the people here that took to the streets were uncertain about China's role in Hong Kong, exerting its national security law here, of course. Well, President Xi Jinping offered a bit of an olive branch to the people of Hong Kong saying, come across the border, live here, work here, study here, and take more of an interest in creating this greater Bay region of greater integrated prosperity. He says it will increase their sense of belonging to the motherland.